We don't need to talk about the show. Oh, yes, we do. Season two, we are dying to hear anything you Ooh, anything. That's, that's such a broad statement. But I'm sure they've given you speaking points of only things you can talk about. What? They don't do that. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, well, we can tell you that there's definitely more action this season, uh -huh. which is exciting. Uh, there's more Jones this season. Yes, Jones. The yes. Towns, have... Towns Jenna combo. Yes. Oh, wow. You guys combined the names yourself? Uh, this we was, did. This that was, was given Lauren. to us. Yes. <laughs> this was Lauren, our showrunner. She likes to call us Jones. Yes. Um, well... At the, at the end of season one, as you know, we, we have big plans of how we're going to support her and, and everything seems great. We're going to be sidekicks or, or similar to sidekicks. <laughs> and then at the very end, of course, things go awry. So uh, the show continues to go in that, um, with that expectation of a superhero's journey and then um, it gets really dark. Yes. <laughs> it was pretty dark first season, if you were honest. It's so, yeah. And I love that, that it's grounded in that because if everyone was okay with their abilities and just moved on, it would uh, it would lose its stakes, I think, too soon. It's a small town drama about teleportation, and it, which is coming from a, a smaller city. I know that feeling of wanting to get out, you know? Right. But I also think in contrast to season one, we have some lighter moments too. We pepper a little bit of humor in there. Just, you know, it was a dark, it was a dark season one, but, but just you wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm amazed. Uh, uh, the writing finds lightness in, in the darkness. It does, always. yeah. So, uh, in the first season, it's a lot about uh, learn about this uh, super power. Uh, what will be the Hmm. Well, I think I think there's an idea for a lot of the characters that we have figured it out, and now we can move forward and, and own this, and um, that keeps being questioned. And I think a lot of the characters start to question what they believe in. It's a it's a season of questioning what you believe in and, and deciding how far you'll go for for what you believe in. Yes, it's a theme of like really look, all of the characters are really looking deep in, in themselves to find their truths for the, the, um, the situations that they're finding themselves in. Yeah. So, you guys weren't the ones that were going to be devious and scared of it. You're the ones who go, oh, hell yeah, let's figure it all out. Right. Well, I think Towns was, was definitely hell yeah, yeah, for sure. You were yeah. definitely hell yeah. Uh, and Jenna was more, she's a cautionary person. <laughs> so she was definitely like, what does this mean? We need to figure this out. We have to think about safety. She's safety. Yeah, right. so that was, she was definitely like intrigued by it and interested in it, but she's definitely on the wary side of things. And that's why they balance each other out nicely. Yeah. Has Jones given up on his crush? Has, has Towns given up on Towns, his crush? Yeah. Uh, on his crush? Which yeah. crush? <laughs> Are you, really? No, really? No, 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 no I'm, I'm curious. About, uh, on, on, on. Harry, right? I don't know. I don't know. This is, I feel like, well, maybe. I mean, I he sees her as a hero, so that's like every dream he's ever had is to be, like an idol. you know, yeah, yeah. I think it's, I think it's more of that. But maybe there's a, a little bit of that in there. I don't know. That's, I read. That's what I read. It. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the show has a general core message, but each of you characters with your backstories, is there an individual core message for each of you that you're trying to portray audiences? Hmm. Well, I think a theme for Jenna as a character, she's really trying to uh, search inside and figure out her identity. But I feel like that's a, I feel like identity is a very strong theme for our entire show, right? Totally. Would you say so? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd say ta Towns, I don't know, is, is seeking hope in all of it because people are, are he, he's less willing to accept the like real life stakes of it sometimes. So he sees the hope. Okay. Are your characters going to be in search of probably their own hidden abilities? I mean, I mean, using the term abilities, in, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if those are super abilities or... Yeah. yeah. Well, Henry didn't know she had abilities. I mean, everybody could have a hidden ability inside them. Yeah, that's, that's what's interesting about the show is we don't know how wide the universe can get. And yeah. what I love about it is that they've uh, 
continue to build it on a on a really you know solid platform before getting that that big. So we'll see. Yeah. What about the fans? Are they going to come back and everybody? Gosh, yeah. Well, we will still see some of Clay in season two. He's still around, and he will like. I, I don't want to go as far as to say wreak havoc, but he still has a presence in our show. Um, and we also get to, uh, we have Lucas as well, and who knows what's going on with him. We're going to find out what's happening to him. And yeah, you'll just have to wait and see, but we're so excited to share it with you guys. Who kind of is like the uh, villain in the story? I, I think definitely Bill was the villain first season yeah. for sure. That goes without saying. I don't know. There are there are lots of villains. There are lots of possible villains in, in this universe. Yeah, there are many possible villains. Because what Lauren, our showrunner, also likes to talk about is with villains, we really try to humanize them and see where they're coming from. So there are so many different possibilities for our show. What about um, Henry and uh, Demi? Your characters. So they're kind of, they're not sister sisters, especially at the beginning. Of right. The one. And then they kind of try to form that relationship. Yeah. And how's that going to play forward? To you? Yeah. So Henry and Jenna, yeah, when we first meet them, they're kind of thrust into this situation where they are forced to coexist, and they don't. It's not necessarily a want from either side. Um, but when this um, event takes place, we kind of see the true colors of. I feel like it would be very easy to say that Jenna is like a popular girl um, and like superficial, but then we get to see her true colors when this happens. She's a compassionate person, she's going to be there for Henry, and yeah, it's it's a complicated relationship, which is something that I love that we get to do on this show, because women are complicated, and it's not always black and white, um, and so yeah, this season is more, I like to joke that we're the will they, won't they of the show, will they be friends, won't they be friends, um, but yeah, so it's up, down, all around this season, and we'll just have to wait and see where we end up, but I love working with Maddie, all my scenes with her. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Thank you.